Hi, I'm Greg, and today I'm going to talk to you about updating the firmware on your Spark Max motor controller. For this process, all you need is what comes with your Spark Max, a Windows computer, and a pen. So to get started, take your Spark Max out of the box. It comes with lots of different accessories, but for this process, all we're actually going to need is the motor controller itself and the included USB-C cable. The next step is actually to go to our website. And on the, going from the Spark Max product page, at the bottom of this page, there's actually a link to the Spark Max software guide. On this page, you're going to be able to download firmware, our Spark Max utility, and even links to the different APIs for different programming languages. So from this step, please download the Spark Max client. This client is a special piece of software that we wrote. It helps you do your firmware update, but you can also do more like configure your motor controllers and even do real-time driving for testing. Now that you have downloaded and installed the Spark Max client, you can take the, the Spark Max using the provided USB cable, plug one side into the USB port, and one side into your computer. Then it's time to actually launch the Spark Max client. If this is the first time that you've connected your client, you may notice that you, you're not able to connect to the actual controller. This means that it needs a firmware update before you can proceed. Go over to the Firmware tab, and at the bottom there's a button called Load Firmware. Click the Load Firmware button and select the firmware file. If you recently downloaded this software, the, most, the latest firmware file will have downloaded at the same time as well. Click this file and open it. And if your controller has previously been updated, the updated process will start automatically. In this case, we need to follow extra steps. And so the, the instructions are right on the screen. If you're prompted to go through the special process, like I'm going to do now, all you have to do is unplug the USB from your computer, take a pen, push down the mode button, and when the, if the mode button is still being held down, plug it back into your computer. You can then release the pen. If you've done this right, you'll notice there are no lights on the Spark Max. You can then hit continue at the bottom of the firmware update page. Once the, once the firmware has downloaded successfully, you'll see that the software is now fully configured and connected, and now it gives you access to the full configuration and everything about your controller. That's all it takes to update the firmware on your Spark Max motor controller. You can now unplug it and go and use it on your robot. If you've got any more questions or you're looking for software or other updates, please check out our website. Thank you.